Report. What's going on, you guys? Slumpy here with First Last Gaming, and who are we here with? Uh, Logan Johnson. All right, and what did you do today at Seattle Regionals? Uh, I just went 9-0. Finish first place with Fire King Snake Eye. Nine. Oh, this is like my, my Michael goodness. Jordan flu game too. Yes, sir. <laughs> like recovering from the flu. All right, so tell us a little bit about what happened before regionals. Uh, before regionals, I uh, just got sick. That's pretty much it. And then just battled it out. Just battled, battled. It. I was, stayed home. I, I was sick like five days ago. I was like, okay, I need to be ready for the regionals. So I just slept for like two days straight. <laughs> and recovered. I'm like, nah, I'm all hopped up on. Uh, on uh, Ricola. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you bought it out and you played to your outs. Yep. Speaking of playing to your outs, you had a pretty crazy regional. Oh yeah. I had a lot of games that I should not have won because I just didn't scoop and my opponents like lost the games for themselves. So biggest advice I would say is if uh, if you think you're going to lose, just play it out a little bit more and play to your outs. Yes, sir. And before we get into this deck profile, do you have any shout outs you want to give out? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out First or Last Gaming, Anthony Vang. I want to shout out my testing partners like Danny, Tristan, Azana. Uh, Destin helped me with the deck a little bit this weekend or this week. Um, Clussy Town. Uh, who am I forgetting? Kevin Tong. Kevin Tong. I mean, he's part of Clussy Kevin Town Tong, now, too. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Tong passed the torch to me for the regional champion. <laughs> um, yeah. Want to get in the profile? Yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, let's speed through the stuff everybody knows. Played uh, three Ash, two Poplar, Oak, Flame Burge, that's all standard. Uh, then I played the Fire King package, one, 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 and two Kieran. Uh, everybody's been cutting down on this to two, and I've been in the same boat. Like, you definitely don't need three for any of the plays or like grind game, but the fact that this was Dodge's Imperm and Valor was crazy for today. Um, and then the the island and the sanctuary. Then I played three Diabel for max consistency, three Wanted, uh, original, and then I played the temple. Uh, this was a mistake. I should not have main decked this card. Uh, I put it in basically because I was afraid to not main deck it because of like shifter. When you get shifter, this is your best play. Um, just place the oak, go ash poplar into IP, and then when they summon, you summon up the oak summon one back add to hand and then you go sp but this is like it just doesn't come up enough my combos don't go through this so i should have decided decided this uh three bonfire one for one more consistency uh then i played three cross out this card was broken uh it was three talents up until like last night and i just kept testing hands where like i would have a talents in hand and i would i just kept losing to like one imperm or i'd lose to nib plus something where like if they just hold Nib and Valor, Nib and Mortar, Nib and uh, uh, Imperm, then you just Talents for Picard and it doesn't really matter. I uh, play one Talents for the cross out. Um, normally you would play like Mortar instead of this, but at a regional level I wanted the Talents. And this was, this was crazy. I crossed out Talents like two times, I think. And then I played 13 Hand Traps, 3 Imperm, uh, 3 Ash, 3 Nib, 3 Valor, and then Droll just for the cross out. Uh, I drew this one time and it was super broken actually. <laughs> so maybe in the future I'd consider playing another one. How many cards in the main? Uh, 43 unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> a very gross number. Uh, definitely go down to 42 without the field spell though. Uh, the extra deck played Link Rebo. Played, oh sorry, Link Rebo, the two charmers. <laughs> if I can find my dark. Then I played two Promethean. Uh, you need two for when you get nibbed. Especially the way that I do my combo, I, I definitely have to play two of this. Uh, then I played Sunlight Wolf. This card is broken. I ended on this card in like all my boards. Uh, Phoenix, I don't know if I... I think I summoned this one time and it didn't really matter. Uh, SP, that card is broken. IP, I'm ending on this in like all my boards as well. Uh, Apo, I hardly summoned this. Uh, Heat Soul, I made this card a ton. Like almost all my boards were ending on like either these two cards or instead of heat soul it was sunlight wolf and i was just playing for follow-up the most broken thing about ip is in the mirror if you go ip everybody tries to enter battle and i just let them enter battle and kill my ip and that guarantees i don't die and then if i don't die and i have like heat soul and sunlight will follow up i just win uh Zilantis, raging phoenix and then i don't play amblo will but i play selene access code because i side into pure snake eye i pretty much just like side out all the fire king cards when i go second um and the play with this is you go uh 
a charmer into this when you have like flame bridge up and then you go access code and access code plus flame bridge is enough to threaten game so when you have temple up you place a second flame bridge and then if they nib you uh you summon up the flame bridge then you get the two bodies and then you just pivot to the zealanthus combo so you go through all four of these in one turn um, for the side deck this is the most broken part of my deck uh i lost most of my game once today but my side deck pretty much carried me uh, i played three lullaby this card was broken mvp uh, yeah this was crazy there's multiple times i drew like two of this uh, i played against two cash players and i decided to inverse them too like call fender call whatever basically that's uh, a lot of their board um three typhoon this card was also insane uh it's the only card that was like that uh, worked as a hand trap, but also covered my rogue matchups like cash and flu. Um, I will say it's like it's a little bit underwhelming as a hand trap against like pure snake guy, and sometimes against fire king. But the big thing is, is against those decks, you can have like two low low impact hand traps, and that's usually good enough. Um, but it was just really good because it covered my rogue matchups. Uh, then I cited a couple more go first cards, the second talents. Um, I mean, I don't need to explain this. It was just for going first, <laughs> just side pattern stuff. And then I called by, I never drew this card. Um, then I sided two Ghost Spell and one Mourner. Uh, basically, I had three spots for another Hand Trap going second. Uh, and I knew for sure I had to play one Mourner because I wanted it as a cross out target post side. Um, and then I felt the next best was Bell because the coverage it gave me against like uh, Branded and the uh, Branded and the Voiceless deck. And then I played the second Flame Bridge. Uh, so when I go second, I would pretty much side out all the Fire Kings, bring this in, bring in a ton of hand traps, bring in lullabies, and just try to kill my opponent. And then I sided three Bestials. Uh One of each uh, variety for the names. I almost sided more of this because if you pair it with Nib against the Pure Snake Eye deck, it's just game. Um, I also considered the side frame cards because you can like delta and then drop this and then tribute off the driver which is pretty broken but the side deck definitely carried me all day nice all right <laughs> besides the uh, the temple is there anything else you want to change like for future reference or anything uh I think my side deck I would probably just have to cut like a talents to fit in the the temple in the side because I definitely have to side that card. Um, maybe try lullaby in the main if I'm expecting more fire kings. But at our regional level, like I think I played against like three or four fire king, and I I knew that that would probably be the case where I wouldn't just play like eight fire kings. So uh, aside from that, I think I just cut the temple to the side and call good. All right, and what's the next event we're going to be seeing you at? Uh, I think it's. Is it Salem Regional? Salem, and Salem Regionals and then Burnaby. All right. Um, well, hopefully I can rack up some world points there too. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations on your first place. 9-0, by the way, 280 players. True. All right. Thank you for the deck profile. Thank this you. is Slumpy Slumping Out.